Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. If you've been following Zelda Breath of the Wild news, you will know that recently there was a huge community reaction to a recent mod for that game. The idea of the mod was to introduce multiplayer, and what we saw were two links in the same area of the game. The released screenshots sent the gaming community into an absolute frenzy. We saw many major gaming news outlets immediately run with the story without even vetting its validity. I must admit that I also got caught up in the wave and immediately jumped on the bandwagon. The possibility of multiplayer Breath of the Wild sent people absolutely crazy and it continued like this for several days. One of my personal suspicions was related to the lack of additional content that followed after the initial screenshots. Sadly, it was a complete fake, it was a hoax, the screenshots were photoshopped. It was later revealed that the screenshots were merely concept art. The community members responsible simply wanted to convey a potential idea. Now I must admit I was disappointed but I wasn't angry because very very early on something did smell quite fishy. Now the community members involved, I don't want to call them devious but I am going to say that they were a little bit mischievous because they did play with the narrative for a bit too long. Ultimately according to them they did not expect the screenshots to just blow up in a single day. Whilst they could have been a bit more honest and a bit more transparent or merely labelled the screenshots concept art and that would of course have avoided the whole mess, the situation did highlight something very interesting. We learned that huge gaming news outlets are quite happy to do no research or check the validity of the stories that they sell. Now whilst this probably isn't a shock to anyone, it is a healthy reminder of how these outlets operate. So there you go people, sadly the Breath of the Wild multiplayer mod in Simu was a fake. However, the idea, the concept is still great and something I would love to see come to fruition hopefully in the future. I think moving forward we need to be a bit more cautious about screenshots. That's it for now, I've been The Complaining Gamer, if you enjoyed the content thumbs up, if you didn't thumbs down, if you want more remember to subscribe, take care and I will see you next time.